Hey YouTube, um, today I'm just going to be showing you my uh, pellet guns that I've been hunting with for the last couple of years. Just having been bored and wanting to make a video. Uh, first I'll start off with my um, Ruger Airhawk. Um, 177 caliber. Overall it's a pretty good gun. I mean, there's a few things I don't like, but... Um, I put a different scope on it than what comes with it. It's a 3 9 by 40 Um, it's got these adjustments, the power, and then an additional adjustment here. Um, originally it came with the front sight, which you can see is there, supposed to be, and then the front sight. I just took that off because it was getting in the way of my scope. Um, it goes 1000 FPS, like 1200 FPS with PBA. Uh, I've probably had this for two, three years now. I've killed probably over 150 squirrels with it and around 200 birds with it. But this one has the adjustable trigger. There's the screw that you screw. Um, okay, the things I don't like about this gun is this screw holds the everything into the wood. This screw and that screw, they always come loose, like always. So it's, when those are unloose, obviously it's very inaccurate. But um, what, if you, it shoots pretty straight. You can get a really good grouping at 20 yards. I usually shoot around 50 yards at squirrels and stuff. Also, I've killed two groundhogs and um, some possum and raccoon with this gun. But, alright, the next gun is the Ruger Air Hawk Elite. Pretty much the same gun, but it's got the thumb hole stock. Uh, that one, this one comes with the scope that's on my other one. That scope. And then the other one comes with this scope. It's really not that good, but just a simple reticle. Um, this gun I haven't really shot that much just because... Uh, it's heavier to hunt with and stuff, but uh, it's got this thing on the end of the barrel. This one does not come with any sort of sights, but I bet you could find a way to put them on there. But there's the Ruger, uh, the scope mount, the safety that's safe, that's fire, adjustable trigger, uh, same thing, screws come loose quick. Uh, out of these two guns, I probably like the regular, the Air Hawk better than this one because it's a lot lighter. And, um, yeah, pretty much just because it's lighter. And that's what I've been able to kill with. Uh, I've had this gun about four years, three, four years. Bought this from a local gun store for around, um, 230 bucks. Uh, this one I bought at Bass Pro Shops for around 120 bucks. Uh, this is the ammo that I've been shooting out of it. The Crossman, uh, Wad Cutters, I think they are. Yeah. Wad Color Cutters, premium grade. Um, they're just flat. They're, I, they're target, yeah, they're competition rounds. Sorry for the glare, but 177, same with, that gun's also 177. Uh, these, the reason I'm shooting these is, these are the best. Hang on one second, I'll open this for you. Um, these are the best shooting ones that I have, that I've shot out of either of these guns. But, like I said, they're just flat-nosed. Um, lead. Uh, you can get these at, I got these at Dunham Sports for around five bucks a can. Um, 
But the reason I shoot these is they're a lot more accurate than some of the hunting tips, and they do quite a bit of damage. They mushroom out pretty great inside the animal. But uh, I just wanted to do a little review on both of these guns. I have, you know, four Red Rider BB guns. I have another pellet gun. This one also goes a thousand feet per second. Uh, but yeah, these are the ones that I mainly use. But alright, thanks YouTube.